second graders, we've been talking about animal adaptations. And so today we have cold, colder, coldest animals that adapt to cold weather. It is in our Cedar Library, so if you enjoy this story, you can totally pick it up. Animals live everywhere. They fly over the highest mountains and swim in the deepest oceans. They run over the hottest deserts and dive into the coldest waters. Some animals live in extremely cold climates. Watch the temperatures on the thermometer dip to chilling lows as you turn each page. Or as I turn each page. Ha ha. Zzz. An arctic bumblebee flies above the frosty tundra. It survives 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we're looking at our um, um, thermometer, it is showing us 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Can any animal exist in a colder climate? Hmm. Probably. Yes, the Alaska blackfish can. It survives minus four degrees Fahrenheit as it darts through Alaskan waters. Can any animal exist in a colder climate? Hmm. What do you think? So here was the bee. Here's the fish. That's really, really cold. Yes, the Antarctic skua can. It survives minus 12 degrees Fahrenheit. It steals another bird's egg near the coast of Antarctica. So here's the fish, here's the bird. I don't know if you can see that. So here's the thermometer. Right now in Indiana, at least today, it's in between 40 and 60. So what's in the middle of 40 and 60? 60 minus 10 is 50. 10 plus 40 is 50. So halfway in between is 50. So we're about 50 degrees today. Yes, the ptarmigan, the ptarmigan can. It walks out of its snow burrow in Greenland. It survives minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy cow. There's, what was the other one? Minus 12. Here's minus 29. That, my friends, is cold. Yes, the polar bear can. It survives minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit as it walks over the ice-covered waters of northern Canada. Several people mentioned on their um, animal adaptations, polar bears, and we have some really cool uh, experiments we're going to try out when we get back um, with um, polar bear blubber and their fur. Lots of people think their fur is white. Little secret, it's not. Super exciting. Can any, any animal exist in a colder climate? So there's that bird. And here's minus 34, that's crazy. Yes, the musk ox can. It huddles with other oxen to stay warm in minus 40 degree Fahrenheit winds of the Arctic plains. Oh my goodness, minus 40. There can't be anything that survives less than that, can there? Can any animal exist in a colder climate? <gasps> of course. Yes, the emperor penguin can. It survives minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit as it waddles around the in the Antarctic, Antarctica snow. Oh my. Minus 40, minus 70. That's a 30 degree temperature difference. That's cold, man. That's like so cold. Can any animal exist in a colder climate? Yes! The Siberian Husky can. So my dog is part Husky, and when it's winter out, she absolutely loves going outside. People are like, don't leave your dog outside in the cold. Oh no, she loves the cold. So I can completely understand that this dog can, but it's still surprising. It stands guard on the cold Siberian snow. It survives minus 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So penguins are 70, what, 70? Yes, 70 to, minus 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The dogs can survive five degrees colder than that. Is there any animal that, it, can any animal exist in a colder climate? Perhaps, who knows?
knows what could exist in colder climates. So maybe, but we don't know. Whew, here are, here's like a whole graph or picture showing some fun facts. Extreme fun facts. Arctic bumblebees shiver to generate heat. Their thick hairs trap the heat to keep them warm. The Alaskan blackfish lives in colder water than any other fish on Earth. The Antarctic skuas are also called brown skuas. They are very aggressive birds. Hmm, I wonder if they are related to hedgehogs. The ptarmigan turns white in winter. Its white coloring helps it blend in with the snowy surroundings. Well, that makes sense because it's um, using camouflage. Polar bear. A thick layer of blubber keeps the polar bear warm while swimming in cold water. The musk ox has broad hooves that spread out flat. These flat feet help keep the musk ox from sinking into the deep snow. This is the emperor penguin. Thick and fat. Thick fat. And two layers of thick feathers keep the emperor penguin warm in freezing weather. Siberian huskies were brought to Alaska, Alaska from Siberia in 1909. They were used as sled dogs because of their great speed and endurance. So if you want to check out Cold, Colder, Coldest, go to the Cedar Library when we get back. Um, I do want you to give me some other examples of... Um, Animal adaptations when you get on um, Schoology and uh, I'll, I'll put a discussion page there. See you later.